Hello, my name is Ryan and welcome back to another RC video. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about three reasons why we generally do not see a brushless outrunner being used in RC boats. So let's get started. At the number three spot of why we don't see these outrunners in RC boats is due to the fact of the total RPM that we require. Now we're talking about fast electric boats, the ones that fly across the water. What we really need is an RPM, unloaded RPM, in the range of 20,000 to upwards about 40,000 RPM. And sometimes we even go outside of these ranges. More commonly speaking, we want somewhere between 25 and 35,000 RPM. Now, typically, when we look at a brushless outrunner, they have very low KVs for the size of their motor. Because they don't have that higher KV that we're looking for at the size, the physical size of the motor, it's very hard to get a brushless outrunner in that range to deliver the power output that we need and to do that all reliably. That is why it comes in at the number three reason as to why we don't use brushless outrunners commonly in our RC boats. Now at the number two spot, and the number two spot is closely related to the number one spot, is the power output that we're looking for these outrunners. Typically at our power output level, we're looking for a lot of power being consumed. Typically in a 36 inch boat, you're looking at at least around the 2000 watt mark to get something quite quick. A brushless outrunner at that size is not going to have the RPM. Going back to our number three reason, we need a high amount of power output. And of course, what happens when you have a high amount of output? it kind of lends itself to the number one reason as to why we don't use these motors in RC boats. The number one reason why we don't use them is because of the fact that it's very difficult to cool these motors. Now imagine an RC boat. An RC boat is something that is completely enclosed. It is completely airtight. This way if our boat travels underwater for any reason, it's sealed, nothing inside gets wet. It will go and submarine underwater, it'll pop out, and everything is still dry inside. Well, what does that mean for our motor? If you imagine the motor, that does not have a lot of area to air cool. The amount of volume of air is quite low in an RC boat and you would heat soak that air quite quickly if that's what you're using. There's also no airflow within the RC boat too. All the air is stagnant. So what we use is we use water cooling. On a brushless inrunner, it's very easy to water cool this motor. All we need to do is bring water into the boat through a pickup somewhere located on the transom of the boat, bring that water up onto the motor, and we can actually drop the water directly on the case of that inrunner, cooling that motor. On an outrunner, you can't do that. That outrunner spins, it's rotating around, and you can't have the water directly contact that large surface area on the case. So what do you do if you have an outrunner? You have to cool the front face plate of it. That's the only area that you have where you can actually hit with water. And the problem with that is, on the outrunner, is that that front face is not where heat is generated. Heat is generated on the windings of the motor. The windings of an outrunner occur and are existing in the core of the motor. That core of the motor, you have to get all that heat to transfer to that shaft of the motor, and from the shaft it's got to transfer into the front face plate. That's a long transfer flow in order to get heat to transfer from the coils into that front face plate, making it very difficult to cool. That's, the no that's why it's the number one reason. Our inrunner, you directly apply the water on the outside, you can keep them very cool. You could see how all three reasons that we've talked about kind of sum out and add up to the same sort of thing. It's, you know, we need the RPM, we need the power output, and we need to make sure that we can cool them to make sure these motors stay nice and cool. A brushless RC boat, a fast electric RC boat, is probably one of the harshest things on batteries that you have in the RC market. We demand power like crazy when we run these boats. There's a high amount of power being dissipated through these motors and we need to have that waste heat removed somehow to keep them nice and reliable. Those are the three reasons why we don't really see many brushless outrunners used in RC boats today. Well, where do you see a brushless outrunner being used in an RC boat? Well, generally speaking, you will see these brushless outrunners being used in relatively smaller boats. And there is a couple reasons why. The first one is smaller boats really don't need and require a huge amount of power. So you can get away with using, you know, a relatively 
larger outrunner inside of one of these smaller boats where you won't have a lot of heat buildup in the motor itself. You'll more easily getting that brushless outrunner to a lower KV where smaller inrunner motors produce a high KV and you may not need that if you want to run a high voltage with a low KV count. That's one of the reasons why you'll see them in these smaller um, ready to run boats. You also may see them in larger boats if it is a custom build where someone wanted to use an outrunner. There's no bad thing about an outrunner saying you can't use them. It's just you will probably will never see the RC boat racer using one of these outrunners. If you race RC boats, especially when I race these RC boats, you wouldn't want to be using an outrunner because it would really significantly hold you down to performance. You wouldn't get that performance that the next guy beside you is getting with his inrunner. That's primarily why you see these outrunners being used in these custom builds where performance is not necessarily, you know, needing to be optimized and the, of course, the size of the boat is relatively small. So you can get away with amount, a lower amount of power. If you're upwards of 36, 40, 45 inches, you can't use an outrunner because you can't achieve that massive power output and cool it reliably and efficiently. That's why you may see them in smaller RC boats. Now, if you like these videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and I'll be able to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.